ball is dropped from a height of 30 feet. Okay, so it is dropped from a height of 30 feet. Each time it strikes the ground, it bounces four fifths of the previous height. Like that. Okay. That means it only bounces 80% of the previous height. How many times does the ball hit the ground before it bounces up less than six feet? Okay. What is the original? 30 feet. And then it bounces 4 fifth, which means 0.8. How many times? Okay, how many times? It has to bounce before the height is less than six feet that's what he's asking okay so you know let's see if we get get some creative here one fifth point eight power n less than point two Okay. Yeah. So now check which number works. Okay. So point eight. Um, multiply by point eight. So that's the ones, right? Point eight. So what do you get? Point six four again. Multiply by point eight. Point one again. Multiply by point eight. Again, multiply that by 0.8. Again, multiply that by 0.8. Getting closer. Again, multiply that by 0.8. Not yet. Again, multiply by 0.8. So there you go. Ah, oh, I lost track of those numbers. So yeah, I have it here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, did he ask how many bounces or what did he ask? Let's ask, see the question. How many times does the ball hit the ground? When it hits the ground, four eight, okay. So let's see. Um, the calculator. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, there is one more here. You see that? Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is only 0 0.2097. You need to multiply by one more. So total eight. Eight times. So the n value has to be eight. Only then it will be less than 0 0.2. 